So, I'm in the family room, and this is a little toy box, and I grabbed um, I grabbed these items out of the toy box to show how great these brands are. Now, this is Dooney and Burke Saffiano. I forgot the name of it. Clutch. Clutch? Crossbody clutch? I don't remember. This is a Ferragamo, vintage Ferragamo bag that I thrifted um, years ago, years ago. And then same with this Mark Jacobs coin purse that I also thrifted in this wallet. Um, these two I think I just purchased from either resellers or uh, the actual, no, both of these came from, um, you know, I got them pre-owned. But um, anyway, so these, Ferragamo and Dooney and Burke, and apparently, Mark Jacobs also, the old Mark Jacobs. Um, I gave them to my children years ago, years ago, and they have been beat up, flung around, like dragged along the floor, all that stuff, like so, so much. They use these to play with them. Um, they use these when they are, you know, playing dress up or, you know, when they're playing store with all their play, play food and um, their little kitchen. So yeah, they, uh, they have beat the met. They, I mean, these, it's four kids and they're pretty young. So, but I wanted to show, Dooney and Burke has held up so amazingly. This is how I know when a brand is, this, excuse me, I already knew the brand was good, but um, every time I glance at these over the years, through the years, I thought, man, this brand is so much better than I realized because this thing had literally the kids scrape these against the tile floor, throw them up, throw them at the, not throw them at the walls, but you know, they packed them with toys, like literally put Legos and overstuff these horribly. And um, they still, they still look good. I'm so surprised at how good this looks. Seriously, this poor wallet has been overstuffed with so many like, Hot Wheels cars and stuff like that. So has this. And this thing, it's finally starting to show a little. That actually might be able to come off this little thing right here. But look at the hardware. Barely scratched. That is some extremely durable hardware. Guys, do you, do you know kids? Do you know how rough kids can be? And I've got two boys. Two girls, two boys. And the boys play with it too. <laughs> now the strap did go. Um, I think it, I forgot how it broke, but the strap did break. But the rest of this Saffiano bag is just in excellent condition. And I don't think those are permanent marks. I think these are just, that's just some sort of liquid or whatever. But um, everything looks incredible still. And they play with these all the time. And like I said, overstuffed them. Dra well, they don't really drag them on the floor anymore because they're older now, but they used, my youngest is four, I mean, and we've had these for years. Look how great this still looks. No tears, no torn seams, no threads popped. It's just, it's incredible how this is, how this is, uh, this, okay, there we go. Finally, scratch right there. That's the only real scratches on the hardware that I see. But this poor bag has been beat up. But you can't tell. You wouldn't be able to tell. So this tells me that Dooney and Burke and their Saffiano, their hardware, their um, stitching, everything is just amazing. And then we have, again, here's the Marc Jacobs. I'm not sure how much they play with this one. I'm not sure how much they play with it. And it does show somewhere. But um, it's, it's a pretty good shape also. Now, it was kind it was used when I thrifted it. The interior was dirty and all that stuff, and I just, I really, I know how to clean stuff out pretty well. So um, anyway, that's pretty good. This Ferragamo bag has been used the most of all of them, if I'm not mistaken. And this one is also really stuffed. And then they try to force down the flap, and then like, well, when they were really little, would cry in frustration. It won't close, and I always tell them, you're overstuffing it. It won't close if you have everything in there. But um, the only real wear I see is the uh, glazing right here and then and I'm a little with some scratching on the um, on the hardware but this thing man Safi then again Safiano leather and um patent leather are pretty they are pretty um strong patent um patent leather does stain 
if you don't take care of it. And this one actually has not really. Oh, there we go. We've got a little, oh, that's residue. We do have some scratches there. But yeah, the suede looks completely, I mean, it's just a little, there's lint on it, but the suede looks amazing. The interior of the hardware is not, I mean, it's definitely scratched, but um, this bag, they've held up. And so, be, really, strictly because of these items right here, well, mainly these two, I um, I know for a fact that at least the old, the these are pretty old, these handbags are pretty old. And again, I think this one is vintage. They, um, they, they, these brands hold up extremely well, extremely well. They're excellent quality. And um, I have another Ferragamo bag that's also excellent quality, but I've barely used it. Um, so uh, I can't judge by that bag, but this bag, whenever someone asks, you know, for good quality, good quality brands, if they, um, if they want to go up a little higher, higher in, um, fashion and I, I definitely recommend Safiano I mean oh, wow uh, Ferragamo but if they want to stay you know in the contemporary brands more times than not along with coach I definitely recommend um, Dooney and Burke because it's just I have seen how it holds up so anyway I just wanted to show these bags here that have been beaten up and used to within an inch of their lives but um they look amazing. They look fantastic for how they've been treated. Anyway, that's it. So if you are curious about, you know, some excellent brands, I highly recommend, um, highly recommend uh, Ferragamo and for sure Dunienberg, for sure. I mean, this held up. We have brands that um, are five times more than Dunienberg, five, ten times more than Dunienberg that don't hold up that well. So, yep. Anyway, that's it. I just I just thought it would be interesting to do a video showing bags that I have that I had. This is not a pocket, by the way. That's just the uh, seam. Bags that I have had that I let my children have instead of donating. I just let my children have them, and um, they have held up for years. And again, have been like beaten and used like a lot. So. Uh, yeah, I just thought this would be kind of a fun, cool video. Anyway, take care of yourselves, and um, I will talk to you later. Bye.